him alone. Keep it going. Are you tired? Come on, celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate this Jesus. Lord, we give you praise, Lord Jesus. Spirit of the God, living God. Come on, somebody worship Him in the Spirit. Worship Him in the Spirit. Just close your eyes, wave those hands to Him. Just give Him praise. Give Him praise. Oh, Surrender all to you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we lay it all on the altar. We lay it before you, O Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jump those hands together to the mighty, the everlasting God, the I am, that I am, the beginning and the end. He that sits on the thrones of Jasper. Hallelujah. Elijah call him, Elijah call him the God that answered by fire. Am I talking to somebody? Ah, uh, in, the, in the book of Daniel, he is the fourth man in the fire. Am I talking to somebody? Go ahead and bless the name of this God Almighty. What a God we serve! What a God we serve! What a God we serve! Hallelujah! Amen, 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 amen. You may take your seats. Hallelujah. Ah. Uh. I feel, I feel that fire in my bones this morning. <laughs> Amen. They've not, they've not seen the last of you yet. That Amen is not born again. Ah, praise God. They've not seen the end of you yet. Who is it that say yet a thing and it coming to pass? Ah, the Bible says when the Lord God has not put a stamp on it. When God has not permitted it. Ah, I speak to somebody this day that whatsoever that is seeking to end you will end in the name of Jesus. That amen is like you don't believe it. Whatsoever that is seeking for your end, I command it to end before you in the name of Jesus. I command the sea rising against you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. You ready?
have your Bibles with you, lift those Bibles up and say after me, say, this is my Bible. <laughs> Whose phone is up? Ah, this generation. Praise God. It's good to have your Bibles in your electronic devices. But I would always want to say to you, have the, have the traditional hard copy. Because what you have in your phone is soft. <laughs> it's digital. So it's best you have hard copy. And even though it's too heavy or too, um, um, too much for you to move around with, at least you have the other one in your phone. Now, the Bible in your phone is a backup Bible. Not for you to depend on because you, 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 you may find it literally so much to take notes on it because you can make notes in your Bible. And where you can make notes is in hard copy Bibles. Praise God. And as a believer, growing believer, everybody is still growing. There is no maturity in, in faith. Hello? You know when people say, you know, I'm matured now in faith. Nobody gets matured because every day God is teaching you something. Hello? So you must have what they call a study Bible and your regular Bible. Maybe King James, NIV, and the rest of them. Praise God. Are you there? Lift up that Bible. Say, this is my Bible. It is the word of God. Inside of this Bible is written everything that concerns me, my destiny, my life, my blessings are all stored up in this word. It is my compacts. It is the direction. It is the pathfinder that creates the paths that makes the way for me. For this is the love letter written by God himself and sent to me. Amen. You believe that? Hallelujah. Grace, grace, grace. So, be on in the background for me. Praise God. You know, I've come today to pray for strength on us. Praise God. And to encourage us in the area of our lives. You know, many times we believe that except we have some kind of affirmation from someone, we think that we cannot make it. There is two affirmations that comes upon a man that God has called. One is the anointing that comes from above. That anointing comes from God. And number two is the physical consecration here on earth. Now, we all know that God exists and he is real and he reigns supreme. When you say something reigns supreme, it simply means that no other thing can have anything that is above that thing that reigns supreme. And it doesn't need any affirmation from somewhere to reign. It just reigns supreme. When God calls you and ordains you for an assignment, the next thing that happens is an affirmation here on earth. That was why when Jesus was sent, what was his affirmation here on earth was during the time of his baptism. The Bible said, and the heavens opened. 
and every man heard the voice he said this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased that was an affirmation even with that level of affirmation many people still up to today does not believe in Christ even with the anointing Jesus had upon himself with the whole demonstrations of power there are many that even in his time don't believe in him even in his own family in fact in Nazareth where he comes from they don't even believe him what an irony they didn't believe that God actually sent him you know there was a time his own brethren his own blood brothers told him and said what are you doing here you say you are a prophet and God has called you go out and prove yourself they don't even believe in him what would you do in that situation when even those that have tested grace from you comes to a point in their life they start doubting you is it new no it's not new god delivered the children of israel the bible said through signs and wonders mighty move of the holy ghost mighty grace was moving all around god delivered them through a mighty strong arm with the whole demonstrations of power that turning blood, water into blood and also plaguing the Egyptians before their eyes. But they came to one thing, the Red Sea. And they doubted God. How wonderful and amazing it is that God has seen you through those days when you call on him, it looks like you have no hope. But he came through for you. But you saw a mountain that is not even as mighty as the mountain you surmounted years ago today. And it made you to start holding back. It made you to start doubting. Is God able to see me through? Is God able to carry me through? Is God able to deliver me from these trials? I want to announce to you trials are real so is my God things are real so is God Satan is real so is God demons are real so is God persecution as is real so is God there are many things that seek to destroy you but I've come to announce to you today so it is also your God is so mighty and strong to deliver you from the hands of the enemy I'm speaking on the topic of caption believe in yourself can I hear you say myself ah, ah yourself is the greatest prophet that will ever live to yourself ah, can I talk about yourself a little bit yourself is so mighty and so connected that it takes only yourself to kill yourself and to stop yourself or to make yourself succeed somebody shout myself yourself is so great that the day you decide to succeed self will succeed the day you decide to fail self will fail everything about you has to do with yourself <laughs> you know there's an inscription about God the Bible says he is God all by himself all by what himself can I whisper to you a little bit if nobody believe you can succeed believe in yourself if nobody think that you can live believe 
in yourself if nobody thinks that you can make it beat your chest chin up tell them that you can make it <laughs> you know I, I always want to connect back with you the ability of man and God the Bible said man was made in the express image the word express is translated to be there is no difference between God and man <laughs> in the book of Genesis the Bible said and God said let us make man in their image no he said let us make man in our own image and you know what he said again he said after our likeness the word likeness is the way we look am i talking to somebody here stop looking at me like you don't you, come on the way you look anybody that wants to see god should look at you going to be talking something very strong right now and i need you to take off your religious cap drop it aside my communicating god made you in his express image and the bible the other day declared the angels got en envious of us and asked the question what is man that thou art so mindful of him god is mindful of you the problem is that it's not that God, if God can do it, no. It's that if you believe who you are and the abilities, the God-given abilities that are resident inside of you, if only you know who you are, you will surmount every mountain that comes your way. Can I hear you say myself? In the book of Romans chapter 3 Romans 3 from verse number 1 Romans 3 from verse number 1 praise God we're gonna be reading then to verse 4 are you with me he said what advantage then had the Jew or what profit is there of circumcision talking about identity you know some people believe that until you are from a rich family you can never be rich some people believe that until you are born in the family of a billionaire you can never be a billionaire but i've come to announce to somebody today that we serve a god that can take you from zero to hero we serve a god that can take you from nowhere to somewhere am i talking to somebody you don't need to be the son or a daughter of a politician you don't need to be a daughter of a son or, 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 or anyone that's a billionaire god can pick you from where you are and make you what he wants you to be you gotta believe in yourself hello somebody say fire you know sometimes some people ask me say who is bankrolling you and I say God bankrolls me my faith is not in the economy of this world every day by day I live and survive by faith the Bible says, for the just shall live by faith not by your bank accounts not by the money you think you have not by the house and the, and, and the mansions you live those things can see you through it is faith that can see you through those things can carry you through it is faith that can carry you through faith in God faith in yourself faith in your vision faith in your dreams somebody shall fire In verse number two, come on, come on. He said, much every way, cheerfully, because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Unto them were committed 
the oracles of God. Look at what verse 3 says. Verse 3. Verse number 3. For what if some. Ha. Oh God. <laughs> For what if some. Did not believe. Shall their unbelief. Make the faith of God. Without effect. What if some don't believe in you. What if men don't believe in you. Shall it make it what God has said not to come to pass? What if some don't believe in you? Shall it make God to change his mind concerning you? Ah, uh, there was a little boy called David. That boy was born into the family of Jesse, but somehow David's mother was not legally married to Jesse. And the Bible says that. Because Jesse was seen as, uh, you know, you know, you know, a bastard son. Those days, they call people that their family, the, the husband and wife are not legally married. They call them bastards. So, what they do with those kind of people is that they keep them away from the family picture. I could see in the realm of the spirit that the time for celebration comes every year and when they pose to take their family picture David is coming by the, the brothers will say to him guy you don't belong here how do I know tell me Jesse has he has seven sons David was the eighth son and eight stands for a new beginning now all the seven sons of Jesse were all positioned in the ministry. They were doing all very well. But because David had no mother to speak for him, uh, somehow, somehow, David found himself in the bush taking care of animals as a shepherd boy. Destiny calling. Destiny speaking. I could hear David cry sometimes and say, What manner of trouble is this? What trouble led my spirit? Every man around me is making it. But I'm here chasing after sheep, pressing the milk from them, surviving through the milk, wearing animal skin as the latest designers in the bush. Am I talking to somebody? sometimes he look at his shoes they are all worn out sometimes his clothes are all gone this guy i i believe in my spirit so strongly that he will he will he will look at the animals but he will use them as his brother and sister have you come to that place in your life when your trouble has now become your most companion have you been in that situation when what you are going through has not become the closest friend to you? David never knew that God was taking him through the school of leadership. Uh, sometimes what you're going through may not look nice in your eyes or feel good on your skin but you don't know that God is taking you through a school there is a school you are going through that nobody is permitted to go through that school except you that's why I tell people I say yes we cry when we go through pains we shed tears because we are humans but that should not eat up your faith. A day will come when everybody will abandon you. Ah, hear it from me today. Men and women, people you believe will stand with you, will abandon you. They will disbelieve you. They will not follow you anymore. What would you do at that point? What would you do? Somebody say, what would I do? What would you do? Would you deny yourself? Or you will stay the course? Would you run away? <laughs> or would you commit suicide? Anybody thinking suicide is selfish. Hello? 
anybody that sees challenges and thinks suicide is selfish to himself there is nothing that comes to us that God has not given us the grace to carry you think God doesn't know about you he knows David was in the bush David didn't run after his breakthrough his breakthrough left the city the palace bypassed the seven sons of Jesse his breakthrough bypassed everybody in the palace God did not look at the rich families to call a king God did not look at those in politics to bring out a leader ah he's the God that collects those things that are not as told they were am I communicating with somebody he's that God that doesn't look down on you God does not discriminate you good thing about God I love is that he doesn't need to take permission from you to bless the next person next to you am I talking to somebody oh God help me here God is a God that he will bypass protocols he will break laws just to bring you up and I prophesy over your life today may that breakthrough come to you may that open door come to you may that money hit you in the name of Jesus somebody shout I hear you this guy was was there sometimes late at night there are no lights I could hear him call one of his sheep because there is a way you stay with animals they see you also as an animal am I talking to somebody sometimes his neck will be pinning him some of the sheep will come around him and give him some massage they will roll their body on him God can sustain you with your problems you didn't hear that God is not looking at using something outside your challenge to say to you God will take something in the midst of your challenges to say to you and to bless you they meant it for evil but the God that knows how to turn evil to good he's a specialist in everything Ah, rejoice not over me oh my enemy hey, if you rejoice now you have rejoiced too early if you celebrate now you celebrated too early for the God that rose Jesus up from the dead on the top day hey, he liveth in me him is resident inside of me I shall rise again I shall rise again I shall rise again I shall rise again shall fire hallelujah David David sometimes will weep at night God when with this situation be taken away on that day God did not send David a postcard of information that if you were a prophet you may not be told that that day is the day there was no postcard from God informing David that today marks the end of your education today marks the end David went about his business ordinarily like every other day but there comes a news may God do a new thing in your life if your amen is better take your another amen may God do a new thing in your life and you know something about new is this when you take an S and add to new, it becomes what? May God make the news out of you. May a blessing rise up from you. In the name of Jesus. This whole situation about David is getting ready to bust the whole world and make everybody surprised. 
And the Bible said, the prophet Samuel arrived in the house of Jesse. For God had said to him, fill thy horn with oil and go down to the house of Jesse. For I have chosen for me, for myself. Hear the words, for myself a king. <laughs> Saul was a king to the people. God chose David for himself. Somebody say self. <laughs> Anytime you see God use the word self, he personalizes you to himself. And because of monetary appearance, sometimes we can be deceived by our sight sometimes we can be carried away by events or information ah god does not look upon us as men looks on us ah god does not judge us the way men judge ah, i might communicate with somebody and the bible said that the first son of jesse passed second third and they kept passing until it got to a particular one that was tall the bible started giving the description of that young man he is a handsome man he's tall am i talking to somebody he has a beautiful hair he has everything the good quality a guy could have ah good quality that a king a human he could have but when prophet samuel said for surely this is the anointed of the lord god said to him shut your mouth up for i have not chosen him may god tell things around you to shut their mouth up hey somebody say shut up sometimes you gotta wake up at night and tell your situation to shut up shut up speak no more proceed no more in the name of jesus shut them down Shut them down. Shut them down. He was shut down. And God said to him, For I look not as man. See it. I do not judge as man judge. And when that happened, Prophet Samuel asked a question to Jesse. He said, Are these all your sons? Because God cannot send me on a journey, yet he doesn't know how many sons you have. Mm. Somebody say, mm. The son that was rejected was the seventh son. Seven stands for number of what? Perfection. Sometimes, even as a child of God, you could miss God if you follow numbers and tradition. May God give you understanding. You can miss God if you interpret God via numbers. And traditions of men. What is numbers? You're walking around with numbers. Nine stands for delivery. Okay, so this is my season of delivery. But God is not de declaring delivery to you. Several stands for perfection. Okay, I will be perfected this season. Maybe you're still in your season of making up. God is still molding you. You have gone ahead of God to declare perfection. You need to hear from God. God is asking you to go to the dimension of partnering with five persons because it's, it's, it's the third month of the year. Mm, this is the month of Trinity. So I will use three persons. So we miss God when we build ourselves in numbers those are prophetic numbers yes i agree but god bypassed the number this time you know you know you know what it means for seven to be seven called perfection the heavens and the earth everything was created and on the seventh day the bible said god rested from all his his works that was the only 
any place in the Bible that the Bible recorded that God rested and you know a thousand years is like just like a day in the eyes of God so from Genesis down to date God has not rested and when he declared this is God said shut up shut your stinking mouth up I have not chosen him and I love what prophet Samuel did he was humble enough to accept the rebuke of God some of us will say mm, this would be an embarrassment they won't see me as a genuine prophet anymore who cares the Bible says for we see it in parts and we prophesy in parts not in full are you a witch you want to see everything what makes God God in our life is those parts we can't see he tells us that's where the guide comes into play but these days the congregation has even pressurized pastors those that are not even called into prophetic office to start prophesying and they no longer prophesy they prophesy lie turn to your neighbor and say do not prophesy lie to me and because the pressure is mounted the ministers are forced to be who they are not that makes some of the pastors go to seek for black magic just to meet the demand and the pressure so when you blame those pastors blame yourself too as congregants because when you come around your pastor and, and, and you give him information and make him become envious in his heart he feels like he's losing the trust and confidence of his members because this generation is a generation of vipers they are after signs and wonders like 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 salt and sugar everybody wants signs and wonder come let's go to church does your pastor see uh, i didn't tell you he moves around with king of course he sees okay because i want those pastors that they will tell me thus said the lord are you aware that prophecy we end here we're not taking prophecy to heaven prophecies are not even a sign unto believers it's a sign to unbelievers so this day believers are rushing after prophecy indomie believers noodles two minutes believers microwave put them in they are done bring them out quick 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 nobody wants to go through process anymore everybody hates process put them through the process they will hate you as a pastor yet they want to be like you oh pastor i want to operate like you pastor i want to ah, i love the way you preach i love the way you pray nobody receives the anointing for prayer prayer the anointing for prayer comes based on persecution it is what you are going through that puts you through what you go through puts you through prayers and in mastering prayers you are not just praying god allow those things in your life to wake up your prayer life so stop looking for pastor or prophet that will give you shortcuts because some of us god wants us to pray that's why what you're going through you're going through it's been long you partner with god in prayers so he is permitting certain things to come around you just to wake you up they won't kill you but just to wake you up somebody say i hear you nobody arrives in the place of anointing by chance david paid the price and the bible said that when prophet Samuel asked that question jesse said yes these are my son he said no it can't be he now said oh dear remaineth one may you be that one amen. that amen does not look like you 
I say, may you be that one in your family. You know, there is something that is said in my in my dialect this way. Not what I will interpret it. It says, Ophonia Nasora no. The one person that when he enters the community, everybody stands still for him. May you be that person. Amen. Let me tell you, there are some persons in their family, the, the family meeting will not hold until they come. They are not the first sons. They are not the second son. They are not the third. They may even be the last. They may be the last born child. But because God has produced them with so much blessings, you can't hold family meeting without them. It's not because they are prideful. No! Because they are blessed. May God elevate you to that height. We are in your community when they talk about men and women that should speak up. People will knock on your door and ask you, please, can you come and stand for us? And you know what happened? A shepherd boy that exists in the bush. <laughs> hey, when Prophet Samuel heard that there remained yet one, he said, We will not eat. We will not drink. They went into fasting for some hours. We will not sit until he comes. And you know, the, the place where David is, you know how the desert environment looked like, the Middle East. It is a distance. Because where you rear your sheep is not close to habiting areas. So they can really see green leaves to eat. You have to go close to the waterways. The prophet, his father, that has never seen anything good in him, his brothers that despise him, they all gave him a standing ovation. May you receive that standing ovation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let men that don't believe in you give you standing ovation in this year. They waited for him until he arrived. When he arrived, Prophet Samuel said, Oh yeah, surely this is the Lord's anointed. And the, 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 the description of David followed. He's ruddy, handsome, peaceful. Everything that could be in an angel was inside of him but how come it took all these years to discover somebody say process <laughs> can I hear you say process don't jump out of the process don't hurriedly jump out of your process it is the process that brings procedures. Process a protocol. What God has put in place for you. There are certain things you cannot pray away. Even if you are the greatest prayer warrior. There are certain things in your life you must face. To make you who God wants you to be. Do you know that the journey from Egypt to the promised land was just a few days journey but God said no I will not take them through the short path at least when they see war in the future they run away so God took them through the wilderness of Cushy a longer journey to train them up to be strong my dear stop running are you the minister of shortcuts stop looking for shortcuts shortcuts will only cut you short you say you want to be a great scientist yet you are not ready to go to university and spend four five years and when they tell you it's four five years they say no i need a short course believe 
in yourself what if some don't believe you don't need everybody to believe in you the greatest person that you need to believe in you is you believe in yourself am I talking to somebody there are people when they dress up in the morning if they've not called their friends on video call and say Kemi please check this is it is this is this good is this is this nice they won't go out please help me and check my makeup is it nice is it too much is it is, is the first coating and the second coating okay yeah the perfect finisher is it too much it's not too much right okay girl i am set They don't believe in themselves. Believe in yourself. The reason why your friends are dealing with you is because you have made them your, your God. Stop complaining. Oh, my friends, they treat me so badly. You give them the power. You make them believe that they have audacious authority and audacity over you. Even if what they are suggesting to you is the right thing, sometimes just tell them, no, you are not going to do it. I'm telling you the truth. Even though they are telling you, you know, that just to protect yourself. Tell them, my dear, thank you very much, but I'm not going to do it. Because you see yourself, there is no stronger thing than yourself. The problem you're having and the success you have today 75% is caused by you. You know, we may carry the whole anointing in this oil, in this house now, and pour you, pour on, on you, prophesy over you. I may even turn upside down, use my leg, tap your head, prophesy, prophesy left and right, do everything I could do. Hear from God, tell you words from God. But, I mean, when you pour that oil, you may look like fried plantain. With so much oil on it. You know those plantains that soak oil? When you bring them out, they are just... You may look like that. That does not mean that you'll be successful. Because if you disbelieve the prophecy, prophecy, you have to walk with it, run with it, pray through it. You don't wait for prophecy to come to pass. You have to walk it out. Because if you don't walk out your 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 your, 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 your salvation with fear and trembling, you may be in the church after 50 years clapping and shouting hallelujah for others that are testifying, and you are not testifying. Believe in yourself. For once, the remaining part of this month, we have how many months now to go? Two or three or four? For the year to go, for the year to go. There is trouble now in the church. Praise God. Okay, hear me. Hear me, hear me. If you can tell yourself from today, I will believe in myself. The remaining parts of this year, I will believe. See, let me tell you. Even though you are afraid, don't be afraid of making mistakes. Mistakes does not mean failure. Mistakes simply means that you have additional experience how to do it better. I talking to somebody yeah. the problem is that you are afraid to make mistakes pride would not allow you to make me make mistakes but it's going to beat you for making. have you seen anybody they flock for making mistakes i mean you'll be protected here more in canada because in canada nobody flocks anybody praise god that you made mistakes no make your mistake because you just have an additional knowledge. You can even teach somebody better. Experience is not gotten from sleeping on the bed. Experience is gotten out there. You have wells of experience. You have yourself loaded up 
that when you speak somebody knows that this man he has well of experience that's why most jobs today they are looking for experienced men and women life experience they call it life experience those are things that the school will never teach you you can't get it as a certificate you know how you get life experience experience it <laughs> turn to your neighbor say experience go and experience it confront your mountain you know that most mountains you see as mountains they are mere shadows they are not real there was this video I saw I'm about rounding up there was this video I saw on the internet there was a gate and one you know dog was the other side this other dog was this side and the both of them were shouting like they, they are ready to eat themselves up and the goat the, the, the gate is a remote control gate so the owner pressed the gate to open it so they can fight as the gate was opening they were following the gate opening he said look at space come out and go and fight the gate is moving this way they are following the gate when the gate finished opening they saw themselves face to face they just that was it that is how your mountain is he acts like he wants to eat you up acts like he will eat you the minute the moment he sees you don't follow those they are titless bulldogs they can only bark but not bite am i talking to somebody believe in that god giving grace in you you want to go into business go in don't be afraid to lose money there is no reasonable businessman that is afraid to lose money. Business is all about taking risk. If you are not a risk taker, you will not be an undertaker. You have to confront it. All the millionaires you see along the road today, many of them billionaires, Jeff Bezos and the rest of them, did they hear in the spirit that Amazon is going to be great? He took the risk. Today, some of us don't want to buy our own vehicles because we are depending on Uber and Lyft. Am I communicating? Yes. But somebody decided, it's not like you don't think, you think. But the fear to take it out is what is hindering you. Believe in yourself. Even though your father failed, your mother could not make it. That's the more reason why you must make it. You know why? Because you're coming from the house of those that didn't make it. So you have experience. You can tell the story how your father failed. So you now know how to avoid those steps and take the opposite steps. You start succeeding. That's the simple process of success. Check around you, those that failed. Ask, don't ask them, uh, how much did you make? No, ask them the steps you took that made you fail. Please, let me know. That's why when I see a rich man, I'm not, I'm not mindful about how much he has. I want to know how many times he tried and how did he fail and what made him get up again to move. The man that produced electricity, you know how many times he failed? Yet he never gave up on himself. Nobody celebrates you until you start celebrating yourself. If you do something good, nobody tell you congratulations. Please learn to congratulate yourself. If you're a young lady or a woman or whoever you are, a man, nobody has taken you out since this year started, since January up to now. Please take yourself out. Go to Moxies. Go to areas. Enjoy yourself. Sit down. Give yourself a bottle of wine. Sit. What are you talking? If somebody is disturbing you, tell them that I came here to enjoy myself. Because if you don't, nobody will give it to you. They don't sell self in Walmart. Neither in Costco. You just have to develop that self-will in you to tell yourself that no matter how situation is, I will make it. 
Let me tell you. When the prophet met the woman that had no money and the, and the sons were to be taken, what did he tell them? He said to them, go and borrow vessels. When you borrow, you borrow with ideas on how to invest. The worst part of borrow is borrow to eat. When you borrow to eat through the mouth, it goes out through here. It's a big problem. Because you can't go here and beg here and say, please give me back. Let me give. No, but you don't give. People don't give you money and expect to take feces from you back. You tell them and say, you see, that money you gave to me, you know, I went to Moxes and I finished eating and I did this. I did number two. And this is the result end. You, are, you, are, you, are you a waste producer? Take, but have plans. Most of the big men you see, the rich guys, multi-millionaires, bank finance them. They had plans. Don't be, it's only in the Christian dog. Not everything is spiritual. Though. Hello? Not everything is prayer. That's why God gave you brain to think. And if you say your brain is not working, shave you if you're a man shave you see how that brother hair is beautiful shave the hair very well so that your skin will be showing then go to jamaica and sit under the sun let the sun hit the head and melt all the snow inside the head then the brain will start functioning very well am i talking to somebody yes because sometimes it seems like this cold in canada here freezes our brain you no longer think. Go, go, go somewhere where there is better sun. Sit by the beach side. Don't swim. Just be there. Let oil start falling out of your head. You will know that the snow is melting. Then when you come back to Canada, you will see opportunities walking along the road everywhere. You know there are opportunities everywhere in this country. Believe in yourself. Handle one. Follow one to the conclusive end. And then, your greatness will come true. Rise up to your feet. Rise up to your feet. Hallelujah. Go. God, I'm all Lord, shut up. Lift those hands up and begin to give God thanks. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank the Lord for the word. Thank the Lord for that that you have heard. Thank the Lord for doing it again in your life. Thank the Lord for doing it again in your family. Thank the Lord for open wisdom, open knowledge, open inspiration. All the way from heaven, grace upon you. Egawala do shadabaha. You fight nobody. Everybody place your hand on your head. Father, I declare over the head of everyone in this house. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over you. You will be the head and never the tail. You will be above and not beneath. You will be a champion. The Lord will make your way straight and great. In the name of Jesus, I cause your brains and your wisdom to begin to function. In the name of Jesus, I cause every part of you to begin to function and to walk. Receive the grace to function in the name of Jesus. 
let ideas come into this head let great plans and wisdom to conquer communities come upon this head take over territories from today i bless you let the blessings of the lord be as a crown over your head the wisdom of the most high envelop you may you pursue and overcome in the name of jesus and amen jam those hands together as you take your seats hallelujah